more diplomatic embarrassment for President Obama. His choice to be U.S. ambassador to Argentina revealed he's never even set foot in the country. Mr. Mamet, have you been to Argentina? Senator, I haven't had the opportunity yet to be there. Mamet's main qualification, Euro, it seems, uh, he raised more than $500,000 for Obama's re-election campaign. This after another big dollar donor was tapped to be ambassador to Norway. He was so unfamiliar with the country, he didn't know what form of government it has. Why on earth did President Obama nominate a guy who's never been to Norway to be the ambassador to Norway in the first place? George Sunis, who raised nearly $850,000 for the president's re-election campaign. Oh. And then there's Colleen Bell, a soap opera producer, named ambassador to Hungary. What are our strategic interests in Hungary? Well, we have a, a, a strategic interest in terms of what are our, our key priorities. She had a hard time answering the most basic questions about Hungary, but she did raise $800,000 for the Obama campaign. How much does it cost to become an ambassador, to be named ambassador in the Obama administration? There have been many, many political ambassadors, uh, people who have... Uh, come from a range of, uh, of histories and backgrounds who've been very successful and worked uh, very effectively in these roles. So wait a minute, John. You can become ambassador to Norway, Argentina without ever having been? How do we get one of these jobs? Well, the magic number, David, is $500,000 or so, it seems. More than half of the non-career ambassadors nominated by President Obama gave at least that much to his re-election campaign. Now, it's important to point out that all presidents do that, but President Obama has done more, more, support, more appointees to, uh, to political uh, supporters than Bush or Clinton. All right, John Carl on the case again tonight. John, thanks.